It is so obvious that John Jones does not want to fight Francis and Gun. I mean, think about it. I, I bet you guys, if Steve had won this fight with Francis a month ago and was still a heavyweight champion, John Jones would be all over fighting him. But you know, it is what it is. But can you honestly blame him for not wanting to fight Francis? Look, you're asking for thirty million dollars. <laughs> Dana White's not going to give you thirty million dollars. He might consider that if you're Conor McGregor. Let's be honest here. But even then, that's highly unlikely. So for John Jones to ask for that kind of fight, it's just ridiculous. And I know why he's asking for that, because he really does not want to fight Francis. You know, uh, he knows Francis hits very hard. He knows Francis can defend takedowns now. And think about it. He's already, John Jones is already at a disadvantage. He's never fought in a heavyweight division. You know, I know most light heavyweights, when they're two, they make the 205 pound weight limit the day before fight night, they go and gain about 15, 20 pounds. They rehydrate themselves. They eat, do whatever. So John Jones is 220, maybe 30 pounds. But a heavyweight is a whole other animal, especially when you got a 250, 60, 70 pounder like Francis Ngannou hitting you in the face. All right. Um, but I, it's just sad, you know. I hope. You know what? I'm gonna say it. John Jones was all hype coming up to heavyweight. All right. And I bet now he wants to fight Stipe. And simply because he thinks Stipe is the easier fighter. The problem is Stipe has already fought a heavyweight and he already beat Francis Ngannou before and he's beaten everybody he's fought except Stefan Struve. You know, he's probably going to try to fight. This is what John Jones is going to do. He's going to sit out and wait for a little while, pick his shots. He's going to wait for Stipe to come back when he's healthy again and he's going to try to fight Stipe. And then Dana White's going to try and say, well, that's a money fight, blah, 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 blah. And then he's going to Dana White's going to say the winner will fight Francis. That's actually good for both guys. If Stipe beats John Jones, which I think he will beat John Jones if they fight, he gets the trilogy fight with Francis. Now, I, don't, I don't think he's going to beat Francis, but still a good fight for him to have. If John Jones wins this fight, he beats Stipe. You know, there's no one left for him to go after. He has to fight Francis in Ghana. So I think it's good what John Jones is doing, but I also think it's bad simply because it makes him look bad saying he wants this money fight. It's like, show me the money, let's play, and all this other stuff that came out of his mouth on fight night. And now he doesn't want to fight him. So it looks pretty bad on John Jones. But again, I call it manipulating the system. He's just picking his shots. That's exactly what he's doing. You know, Do I think he can beat Francis? He can, but will he? Probably not. Francis is still just creeping up on his prime. And I know John Jones is technically in his prime at 33, 34. The problem is he's been fighting for over 10 years. Most guys, when they start in their early 20s, then they hit their early to mid-30s, they start to go down. So you have to consider that too.